All right, what's up, people? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Trinstead, aka Father Dill. And before we get into this, I want to talk about what exactly you're about to watch. So I have the Android camera, and I've had it for years, and I figured I'd shoot with it. All right. Now, while I was doing this shoot, I realized that. Well, you'll see why. But I also use another camera as I shoot the and I'll give you more details about this after you watch it. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're going to go ahead and start it off. Check it out. So I'm going to explain the reason for me using two cameras. You know, originally this was supposed to be the post, but I ain't going to lie. I wasn't really satisfied with the way that was coming out. And me and Destiny had already supposed to shot in this outfit before. It didn't happen. And now we got the outfit and I kind of wanted to make sure that we took advantage of that. So... I had to pull out the X-T4 and the X-T4 had the 27 millimeter lens on it, which is beautiful. The reason for me shooting with the was because I wanted to be more versatile. You know, I want to try things that I don't normally do so I can be more experienced, you know, because being able to do multiple things makes you more comfortable, makes you more experienced, makes you more open-minded, you know, and you don't want to pigeonhole yourself. You want to be able to do any and everything. An example of that is, let's say you get paid to do a photo shoot, right? Company reaches out to you and say, hey, we want you to shoot this. And they give you a Fuji camera or Canon camera, whichever one you don't use. And you're like, oh, I don't really just know how to use this. So it's going to be a hard learning curve or they're just going to X you out. So I personally like to 
put my hands on different cameras here and there to kind of just get comfortable with them, get a feel for them. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to master them, but I feel like learning the basics of anything helps. And this just isn't for cameras. It's for like, that can go for editing programs. That can go for lighting equipment. That can go for camera bags, whatever. <laughs> you know, it can go for anything. You know, you don't want to be so headstrong on only using one type of material or one thing. Being able to be wide range or whatever you want to call it. It makes you more valuable. You know, you, you become more creative. And me personally, I feel like when you're choosing to be more versatile, you're choosing to explore. And when you explore, you sometimes, or majority of the time, you learn. You learn what you like and what you don't like. But on top of that, you also gain knowledge of whatever it was you did. And I feel like that's the most important thing and one of the reasons to be versatile. But back to the bro, we're gonna we're gonna focus on that for a little bit. Um, so even though I started with that camera, I didn't I didn't like how unsharp the pictures was. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect them to be that soft. And you know the colors were a little faded. You know what I'm saying? A couple of them came out good. I fooled with some of them, but I ain't gonna lie. Majority of them, I was like, hmm. So that was the reason we pulled out the X-T4. I mean, I had this camera for years just sitting in the closet or sitting in the shelf, wherever it was when I found it. It was not being used. That film that was in that pack is years old. I didn't know if that was gonna come out right. So, you know, I figured, why not try it? You know, it's sitting here, it's a camera I don't normally use. Let's see what happens. I explored it. I'm not gonna say, actually, I did enjoy it. I, I, I enjoyed it because it was an experience and now I know what to expect and now I know how to use that camera properly. These X-T4 shots, hey, D fire, bro. Like, I, I really, really fooled with them. My favorite one has to be this one. If I gotta pick one from the, it's this one. But the Fujifilm X-T4, this one, it's tough to me, man. It's tough to me. But hey, let's talk about what you guys like. Do you guys like any of the ones? Which one of the X-T4 is your favorite? And would you even consider buying the Polaroid? I'm calling it a Polaroid, but it's not a Polaroid. It's a Fuji Instax. So forgive me. We're gonna we're gonna have to bleep that out. So every time you hear a bleep, never mind that. So the bleep, I was saying something else, but doesn't matter. This is a Fujifilm Intax 70. So, yeah. So do you consider yourself getting that Fuji Intax? I mean, I don't even know why they make it anymore. Mm. Anyway, what you think about it? Let me know. Chop it up. Don't forget to subscribe and also share, comment. I will see you guys next time.